Hello students, let's do framing algebraic expressions, exercise 15c, page number 165. Question 1, evaluate. So this, in this exercise, we're going to learn to open or remove brackets. There are simple rules to follow. So as we do, we'll work it out. Now, first thing you need to remember is boredness, the rule of boredness. What does this mean? It means that if you have an expression that has many operations, suppose you have brackets and addition and subtraction and many operations, which one should we do first? Bodmus will tell us which is the order. The first thing you need to do is open brackets. So if you see an expression which has brackets, do that first and then move on to the rest of it. O stands for off. Then the next one is division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So let's start with the first one and as you can see you have brackets so first we're going to work out what is within brackets so let's begin 23 minus 15 let's do that 23 minus 15 now here we borrow so 13 minus 5 is 8 and 0 so here we've got 8 now let's write the second expression term as it is that is 4 now 8 plus 4 is 12 so our answer here is 12 answer to the first question. Let's move on to the second one. Second one again we have brackets so that has to be done first. So we'll work out what's within brackets. So the first term remains as it is. So 5x plus now 3x plus 7x. 3 plus 7 is 10. So that is 10x. So 5 plus 10 is 15x. So this is the answer to our second question. 15x. Third one, 6m minus 4m minus m. So let's do what's within brackets first. So we'll write the first term as it is minus. Now 4 minus 1. This is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now let me put that back into brackets. 4 minus 1 is 3, 3m. Now uh, we'll follow the rules. The first term as it is. Now I'm going to open my brackets. Before I open my brackets, I have to see what sign is there before it. I have a minus sign. If I have a minus sign, the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So now I have a plus sign here. When I open the brackets, plus 3m will become minus 3m. So let me write that. So now 6 minus 3 is 3 and then I put the m. So the answer is 6 m minus 3m which will give us 3m. So the final answer here is 3m. Next question. Let's open the brackets first. So let's begin. 9a minus 3a is 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. So 6a plus 4a. Now 6 plus 4 is 10. The answer is 10a. So question 4. Answer is 10a. Question 5, 35b minus, in brackets we have 16b plus 9b. So let's work that out. Remember how to do all these? We are able to add or subtract because they are all like terms. So let's start. The first term will remain as it is, 35b minus. Now 16 plus 9. Let's add it up, 16 plus 9. 6 plus 9 is 15, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 25. So that is 25b. So plus 25b. Now I'm going to open my bracket. So first term as it is 35b. Now since I have minus before the bracket, the sign of the term inside the bracket will change. So plus will become minus. So this is minus 25b. So 35 minus 25 is 10. So, and I write the letter b. So my answer here is 10b. Question 5, answer 10b. Question 6, again we have brackets, so we're going to open those brackets first. 3y plus 8y, 3 plus 8 is 11, 11y minus 5y. So 11 minus 5 is 6, so 6y. So the answer to question 6 is 6y. Question 2. So here again we have operations with brackets. So we need to open brackets first. 
Okay, so let's begin. The first term remains as it is. And I put the minus sign in brackets. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7x. So the sign for 7x is plus. Now I'm going to open my brackets. So here the first term remains as it is 12x. Because I have minus before the brackets, the sign of the term inside the bracket will change. Plus will become minus. So that is 12x minus 7x. 12 minus 7 is 5. So the answer is 5x. Question 2. Here we have brackets and we have different variables, so we need to be very careful. So let's begin. So we write the first term 10m plus now 4n minus 3n. 4 minus 3 is 1n. Then we have minus 5n. Now we can only work on the like terms. So what are the like terms here? Plus 1 and minus 5. 5n. Both these are like terms because they have the variable n. Now 10m is different. It's an unlike term there. So we will write 10m and we'll work on these two. So let me write that here. Plus 1 minus 5. Both are n. Okay. Plus 1 minus 5. Signs are different as you can see. One is plus, one is minus. When signs are different, we put the sign of the bigger number which is minus and we subtract. 5 minus 1 is 4. Minus 4n. So here I write minus 4n. Now I cannot subtract 10m and 4n because they are unlike terms. So my answer to this question will be 10m minus 4n. This whole thing is my answer. Question 3. Now here we have two sets of brackets. So let's work them out. We can start with the first one. 15b minus 6b. 15 minus 6 is how much? 9. And then I write the letter B. Let me put the minus sign. And in brackets, let me write the answer to this part. 8 plus 4 is 12 and 12B. Now, let me open brackets. 9B and because it's minus before the bracket, the sign of the term inside will change. 12B will now become, plus 12B will become minus 12b. Now let's work this out. So this sign is plus and the other sign is minus. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number minus and subtract 12 minus 9 is 3 and then we write b. So the answer here is minus 3b. Let's move on to question 4. It's starting with a minus sign so we'll keep it there. We'll work out what is inside first with the brackets. We're not opening the brackets now. Okay, minus and minus signs are the same. So put the same sign and add 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 is 12a. Now we're going to open the brackets. When you see minus before a bracket, the sign of the term inside the bracket will change. So this will be plus 12a. You can also work it out this way. When you have brackets here, it's multiplication. So minus into minus is plus. Plus 12a. So we have our answer here. The answer is simply 12a or plus 12a. Question 5. There are brackets here. We need to work it out carefully. So let me underline the brackets that we need to work on. So the first term, x will remain as it is. Now here, since they are unlike terms, x minus y, x and y are unlike terms, I cannot solve it there. So I'm going to open my brackets. Before I open my brackets, I need to see the sign outside. And before the bracket, it's minus. So the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So I'm going to open my brackets now. Plus x will become minus x. Minus y will become plus y. Similarly, on this side also. Because I have minus before a bracket, the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So minus x will become plus x and plus y will become minus y. Now I'm going to pick out all the x here. So I have x, so let me give it a sign. That's plus x, minus x, plus x. So let me put all the x together within brackets. So that is x plus x minus x plus x. 
plus I have the y's plus y and minus y. So I've taken all the x together and all the y's together. Now let me work this out. So here I have plus x and minus x which is going to give me 0. So plus x and minus x I'm going to cancel. So what is left is simply plus x. Then on the other side I have plus y and minus y. Again they will give me 0. So there it is 0. Both get cancelled. So plus x plus 0. So my final answer will simply be plus x or x. So this is my answer. Question 6. Again, let's work out what's within brackets. We can work out both the brackets at the same time. So let's start P. Now I'm going to open my brackets. Since I have a plus sign before the bracket, all the signs inside will remain the same. So minus Q, minus R and minus S remain the same. Let me go to the next set of brackets. Before the bracket, I have a minus sign. That means all the signs will change. So this is plus, that will become minus P. Minus Q will become plus Q. Minus R will become plus R. Now let's group all the uh, terms, like terms together. So P here, so that is plus, and then I have minus P. So there are two there. Let me put the P's together. So I have plus P and minus P. Then let's go on to Q. I have minus Q here and plus Q there. So let me write that. So that will be plus and minus q plus q. Then let me go on to the r's. I have minus r and plus r. So let me put that within brackets. Minus r and plus r. And finally, I have only minus s left. So let me write that at the end because it's a single term. I don't have to put it within brackets. So now let's work this out. Plus P minus P. It will get cancelled because it's equal to 0. Plus, minus Q plus Q will also get cancelled. It's equal to 0. Minus R plus R also will get cancelled. So what do I have here? 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus S. That means finally I have only S. So our answer is minus S. 7 we have a plus b in brackets c plus d and e minus f in brackets now let's open the brackets so here it's going to be a plus b now here we have minus so let's be careful to change the sign of all the terms so plus c will become minus c plus d will become minus d again we have minus before the brackets so change the sign of all the terms inside plus e will become minus e minus f will become plus f. So now we have opened all the brackets. Now let's see what our answer is. As you can see, we have only one of each term, of each variable. We have one a, b, c, d, e and f. So since they're all unlike terms, I cannot add or subtract them together. So this is going to be my answer. So my answer is a plus b minus c minus d minus e plus F. Let's go on to question 8. So here we have brackets, two pairs of brackets. Now let's begin. So the first term remains as it is, 3x. I'm going to open the first pair of brackets. The sign before that is plus, so no change. Everything inside the bracket will remain the same. So plus 8x minus 5x. I'm going to open the second pair of brackets, but I have a minus sign before, so let me be careful. The sign of all the terms inside will change. So plus 7x will become minus 7x. Minus x will become plus x. So now let's work this out together. So I'm going to take all the plus signs first. So this is a plus. So plus 3x. Then I have plus 8x. Then I have plus x. Let's add it up. 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. So I have 12x. Now let's take the signs that have that are minus here. So I have minus x, 5x and minus 7x. So signs are the same. Put the same sign and add 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. So I have minus 12x. So now I have plus 12x and minus 12x. 
plus 12 minus 12 is 0. So my answer here is 0. Question 9. Now let's work out this. So first one will remain the same, the first term. The, before we open the brackets, check the sign. It's minus. So the sign of all the terms inside will change. This is plus A. It will become minus A. Minus B will become plus B. Minus C will become plus C. Now let's work out. Now this is plus A and minus A, which will get cancelled. And that is 0 there. So what is left is B plus C. Now this is my answer because B and C are unlike terms and I cannot add them together. So they will remain as B plus C. That's the answer. Question 10. Let's begin. So I have 6A square. Before I open the brackets, let me check the sign. It's plus sign. So the terms inside will not change. So plus 2A square minus A square will remain the same. Now, before I open the next pair of brackets, let me check the sign. It's minus. That means the sign of all the terms inside will change. So, a square is plus a square. It's going to become minus a square. Then, minus b square is going to change to plus b square. Now, let's look at all the a's inside. So, I have 6a square, 2a square. Then, I have again a squares. Now, let me check the signs. So, all this let me group into 1. So this is one set of like terms. They all are a square. Now from this, I'm going to pick out the ones that have the plus sign. So I have plus 6 and plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. So I get 8a square. Now let's move on to the next one. I have minus a square and minus a square. So that is 1 and 1. When signs are the same, we put the same sign. So I have minus 1, minus 1. So I'll put the same sign and I add 1 plus 1 is 2. So that is 2a square. So since this is a square, let me put that in brackets and b square is separate there. It's an unlike term. Let's work out this. 8 minus 2 is 6a square and I have b square also along with it. Now, my answer is going to be 6a square plus b square because I cannot add them there since they are unlike terms. So, this is the final answer. Question 11. Let's start. 2m. Before you open the brackets, check the sign. It's minus. So, everything will change. The sign of all the terms. So, plus 3m will become minus 3m. Plus 2n will become minus 2n. Minus 6n will become plus 6n. So let's put all the numbers together, the like terms together. So here I have 2m minus 3m. So this will be one set of like terms. Then here I have minus 2n plus 6n. Now we can work out these separately. Now signs are different. This has a plus sign. This has a minus sign. When signs are different, Put the sign of bigger number and subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1m. One so finally, it's minus 1m. Plus, now here we have minus 2 and plus 6. So signs of the bigger number, which is plus. So let me put that plus and subtract. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4, 4m. So again, let me open the brackets. Minus 1m can simply be written as minus m. And since I have a plus sign before the bracket, the sign of the next term will not change. So that is plus 4n. So that is my final answer. Question 12. Let's start. Minus m, minus n, open brackets. Before the bracket, we have a minus sign. So the sign inside will change. So minus m will become plus m and then we have minus m. Let's put all the m's together. So I have minus m from here and then plus m and then again I have a minus m and then I have a single minus n. So I can write that by itself. So now let's work out all the m's here. Now minus m plus m will get cancelled. So what is left is minus m 
and then we also have minus n. So our answer is minus m minus n. Question 13. Now here we have x plus y minus, in brackets we have x plus y minus x and we have something, a line drawn here. Now that is a bar bracket. Now there is an order in which you need to open brackets. Now this is a bar bracket and these two are the common brackets or parentheses. We call it parentheses or common bracket. Now, whenever you have brackets, different brackets, there is an order to follow there also. So now we have the bar bracket, so which is drawn like this. Then we have the common bracket, which is this. Then we have the curly. So this is the common bracket. Then we have the curly bracket, which is drawn like this. And then we have the square bracket, which is simply like a box square. Okay, now this is the order to follow when you have many brackets. So first the bar bracket has to be done, then the common bracket, then the curly bracket, then the square bracket. And this is easy to remember because it is in alphabetical order. B, then we have CO, then CU and S. So let's begin here. So this will be X plus Y minus, we will continue the bracket because we have to open the bar bracket first. X, now Y minus X has a bar above it. Now to open it, we have to solve y minus x. But since they are unlike terms, we cannot get a single term out of it. We write it as it is. So that becomes plus y minus x. So I have removed the bar bracket. Now I have to remove the common bracket. So that will be x plus y. Now we have a minus sign before the bracket. So the sign of all the terms inside will change. So x becomes minus x, plus y becomes minus y, minus x becomes plus x. Now let's group all the x together. So I have a plus x here, plus x, then I have minus x, and again I have plus x. So I put all the x together. Now let's put the y's together. I have plus y and minus y. So now let's work this out. Plus x and minus x will get cancelled. So what is left is simply plus x. Now on the other side, we have plus y minus y. That will also get cancelled and become 0. So plus x plus 0. So my answer is simply plus x or x. So that is my answer. Question 14. Let's open brackets. So first term as it is. Now because it's a minus sign before the bracket, every sign inside will change. So plus, this is plus 5x will become minus 5x, minus 10y will become plus 10y, plus 6x will become minus 6x, and minus 3y will become plus 3y. Now let's group all the x together. So where are the x here? See minus 5x and minus 6x. So let's put them together. Minus 5x minus 6x. Plus, let's put all the y's together. 25y plus 10y plus 3y. So we've got all the y's and the x's separately. Now let's work this out. We'll open the brackets. Minus 5 and minus 6. Signs are the same. Put the same sign and add 5 plus 6 is 11. Now let's go to the other side, to the y's. It's all addition, so it's easy. So 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 3 is 38. So we have 38y. Since we cannot add or subtract x and y because they are unlike terms, we have to write this as our answer. So what is our answer? Minus 11x plus 38y. Question 15. Now let's begin this. So 3x now, we can't open this bracket because we have a bar bracket. So, we need to open the bar bracket first. So, that is 2x. Now, we have minus before the bar bracket. So, before a bracket, if you have minus, the sign of all the terms inside will change. So, this will be minus x minus 2. Now, let's work it out. 3x. So, we can open the uh, common brackets now. The sign before that is plus. So, no change of any sign inside the bracket. So the signs remain the same, plus 2x, 
minus x minus 2. Now let's group all the x together. So we have 3x plus 2x minus x. This is 1. So now let's see. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. So here we have 4x minus 2. So our answer here is 4x minus 2. Moving on to question 16. So we begin with a minus 2a. Now we have minus here and we have bar bracket. So before the bar bracket, we have minus. So the sign of all the terms there will change. So that is minus 4a and minus 3a. So the bar bracket is removed. Now we have to remove the common brackets. So before the common brackets, again, we have a minus sign. So the sign of all the terms inside will change. So minus 2a minus 4a becomes plus 4a. Minus 3a is now plus 3a. So now let's work this out together. So let's take all the signs, similar signs together. So I have a plus sign here. This is plus 1. So I have plus 1a, plus 4a, plus 3a. So let's do that. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we have 8a and we have minus 2a. So 8 minus 2 is 6, 6a. So the answer here is 6a. Question 17. 5x square minus, we can't open brackets because we have a bar bracket there. So 3x. Now under the bar bracket, we have x square minus 4. I cannot solve it, but I can see the sign before it. The sign before that is minus. So the sign of all these terms will change. So x square will become minus x square, minus 4 will become plus 4, and I've opened my bar bracket. So 5x square, now I can open the common bracket. I have a minus sign before the bracket, so the sign of all the terms will change. So plus 3x becomes minus 3x, minus x square, plus x square, plus 4, minus 4. So now let's put the x squares together. I have 5x square and plus x square, that is 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6x square. Minus 3x will remain the same and minus 4 will remain the same. So the final answer is 6x square minus 3x minus 4. Question 18. So first, we, let's open the bar brackets and we'll keep everything else as it is. So minus, in brackets, we have y minus x minus x plus y. Now we have a bar bracket and we have 2x plus y under the bar bracket and we have a minus sign before it. So all the signs will change minus 2x minus y. Now let's open all the common brackets. Since we have a minus sign before, the sign of all the terms inside will change. So minus y plus x Similarly, here also we have a minus sign. So all the signs inside will change. Minus x, minus y, plus 2x, plus y. So let's put all the x together. So that is we have plus x, minus x, plus 2x. So let's put all the x terms together. Plus x, minus x, plus 2x. Let's take the y's. We have minus y, minus y, and plus y. So let's put those together. So we have minus y, minus y, and plus y. Okay, now let's work this out together. So this will be plus 1x and minus 1x. Plus 1, minus 1 will get cancelled. So what is left is simply 2x. Then on the other side, we have minus y, minus y, and plus y. So minus y and plus y will get cancelled. So what is left is minus y. So my final answer is 2x minus y. So children, we'll stop with that for now. We will continue the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you, children.